www.dashafonepopnews.com. Uh, we are still at the VR booth in the TICC during Computex 2010 and after we've been already taking a look at their tablets and their smart box, now we're finally getting over all the netbooks and let's say kind of sub notebooks. So why don't we start over here with this Quanta QR1 mini note PC. It comes with a 10.1 inch display, 1024 by 600. It's a Via Nano uh, U1700 CPU with one gigahertz. I think that's the first generation of the Via Nano, a single core architecture. And it comes with the VX855 chipset. That means that there's an integrated Via Chrome HC graphic processor, which is uh, pretty much doing decent, uh, well, not only pretty much, doing a goddamn decent uh, hardware acceleration of uh, videos. As you can see, this is like a I don't know, I would say like 10 to 15 Ambit stream. So this is running absolutely smooth. Besides this, uh, well, as you know, Quanta is a huge uh, ODM over here in Taiwan. Um, this is more like a design sample and they're waiting for other companies to brand it then. Um, over here we have a Sun Spirit, it's an 11.6 inch system running the Via Nano uh, U3300. That's the second generation of the Via Nano processor. It's also running the same chipset, the VX855. And yeah, that's a, that's a very, very decent device. It's uh, very light, it comes with a chicken keyboard, a huge trackpad, only a single mouse button, unfortunately, and this should be a resolution, I would guess, like, it should have like 1366 by 768. Let's take a quick look at it. Zoop. Here we go. Oh, interesting. This is only running 1024 by 600. Um, this might be a little bit too low for me to use it. Uh, finally, OLPC. As you know, the first generation of Let's say the, the, the first two generations of uh, the OLPC were running on the AMD GOD processor that came out of the embedded industry. We had a couple of mini ITX mainboards with GOD processors around. And this one is now using um, the VSC7M processor with 1 gigahertz, which is the, it was a kind of next generation of the VSC3. And this is also using the VX855 media chipset or chipset and should add a lot of extra performance to the OLPC platform if you compare this with the with the GOD, which was I think 433 megahertz. So that was a really slow processor. And somehow VIA managed it to finally get on the OLPC platform. So good job with that. I, well, actually I think they did this like last year. Uh, we have another tablet over here. That's that's a 10-inch one multi-touch. Is it is it working? I'm not sure about that. No, that is that is that is a mock-up. Uh, TT 1000B tablet PC multi-touch, also VSC 7M 1.2 gigahertz, and the VX 700 chipset that we also saw on a couple of um, netbooks and mini notes before. And you know, I'm not sure. Wasn't this even in the? No, it wasn't in the Samsung NC20. Whatever. Um, another 10.1 inch. I'm not sure if I can pronounce this in the right way. Gaoching Kui, Gaoching Shi, something like that. S500, 10.1 inch display, uh, also 1024, and it's also coming with a VX855, and we have another huge media stream running on this one. You know what, actually it looks very familiar to the one that we just saw from Quanta. No, actually it's absolutely the same. Maybe they just added a new little sign to it to have some more products over here. So, um, and another 11.6 inch running with the new uh, Nano U3300, uh, 1.2 gigahertz, VX855, and uh, at the moment it's showing one of the most fantastic websites I know on this planet. Planet. Anyways, shameless plug. Let's uh, get this down and uh, yeah, again, that's a pretty, pretty decent keyboard. I'm sure that these devices will be very, very cheap. So this is manufacturers in in China. Actually, I have to say this is quite heavy, but it, it feels decent. A little bit plasticky on the back, but at least it has it has a cool keyboard, uh, decent trackpad kind of single mouse buttons. You know, that's a big disadvantage when you're allowed to go on the show floor on Thursday when the show is starting on Monday because most of the stuff is used. So maybe I should come over here next time a little bit earlier. Anyways, huge lineup of products uh, using VSC7M, first and second generation of the nanoprocessor, uh, various chipset from VIA and Sasha for NetbookNews.com. Thanks for watching.